Hi guys, in today's video we are going to see if we can repair this Pure Evoke 1 DAB radio. This video is kindly sponsored by PCB Way. Get your PCBs, 10 boards from just $5. Why not check out their latest website activity, Icon Solder Kit 2019. Links are in the description below. So this was purchased off eBay again a long time ago, one of these things that I've had sitting around for ages. If I remember correctly, um, the listing described it as working, but only on one channel. Uh, one program would work, you couldn't change programs or anything at all. So we've got the power cable here, so let's plug that in and we'll have a look and see. Right, so power cable's plugged in, so we just turn this on. And uh, as you can see there, the display is lit up, but very poorly. Um, you can pr probably, slightly dodgy connector there. Um, I don't think that's the problem because the display is lit up. Um, you can see it's kind of blanked out across the top, so it's trying to display something, um, but it's just kind of displaying a test pattern and uh, nothing is working on here, none of the buttons do anything apart from power on and off and that's it. So I think first things first, let's uh, grab the screwdriver and uh, pop this apart and uh, see if we can figure out what's going on. Now before we uh, take that apart I'm just going to double check that this uh, power cable is supplying uh, power. So I've got that set on DC and we've got 18 0.2 volts. Now it does state that it should be a 12 volt um, supply. However, the uh, power brick is one of those uh, giant power bricks, so it's not a switch in supply. So it's a very old school um, <coughs> full sort of transformer based uh, supply. So it's going to have a slightly higher voltage when it's uh, not um, under load. So. Like we said, let's whip it apart and see if there's anything obvious. Now we've got four deep screws here. It's a nice um, solid build radio. You would expect that from Pure, but it's certainly not a uh, modern one by any means. I think this is probably one of the first ones they uh, made. So we pop these screws out, hopefully that might be all that's required to uh, separate it. Let's put those to one side. Alright, that does seem to have uh, loosened things up a bit. It will um, pull away a little bit the front, but uh, not everywhere. So, have we got any more screws hidden? We've got some rubber feet on the bottom. I think that would be unlikely that they would actually stick some under there. We'll just see if we can pry them off. And yeah, no, they're just uh, purely stuck on. So. We have got another couple of screws there, so I think we'll whip those out and uh, see if that makes a difference. All right, that seems to have helped a certain amount. So, right, okay. So it's certainly got quite a fair bit in it for what it is. Now, oh, I see the front panel's got another screw holding it on. All right, let me try and get this a bit more, a bit more apart than this. So uh, this could be a bit awkward, and I'll get back to you. Right, we're certainly a bit more apart. Now this certainly is not an easy thing to uh, simply grab apart um, due to the fact that you've got this sandwich design in between the two cases. So I've had to, two halves of the case, so I've had to pop this board off the back. So this was housed on there. Desoldered the uh, antenna for the DAB radio. Module itself, and this is DAB radio module that simply plugs in on these uh, onboard uh, pin headers. So I've just disconnected that for the minute. Um, I want to see if that's off, just in case that's causing a problem. Um, does it do anything different with that actually disconnected? So I'm just going to plug these connectors back in and uh, we'll grab the uh, power cable and plug that in. All right, so we'll just turn that on Anything different? No, that's exactly the same as before. Now we could have a power supply issue of some sort going on here.
but obviously it is lighting up the uh, display so it's doing something um, but not not what we want so let's grab that bit of a it's like hot glue everywhere in this holding everything down get rid of that right so this is obviously our display and control board and this is going to be more our power supply module so looking at that just having a look at the caps to see if there's anything obvious there's nothing particularly obvious everything looks okay so nothing's been uh, burnt by the looks of it and uh, yeah none of the caps appear to be leaking at all now down on these uh, connectors coming across from the power supply board they have thankfully actually marked them with some various supply voltages so first thing first check power supply so let's do that right so hopefully I've got that meter in shot so let's go across these so we've got a 3.3 volts And we've got 3.3 .3 there. Next one across should be 5 volts. And yep, we've got 5 volts there. Now we've got VCC in, doesn't say what it should be. That's uh, 16 volts, so that's in line with the uh, floating voltage of that power supply. VCC out, anything on there? 16 again. Um, nothing else on there of interest for voltages so voltage is going through so we've got the correct supply voltages where they need to be so let's have a look further all right I've plugged that uh, module back in um, just to see if reseating it made any difference but there's nothing happening at all we're still dead in the water with this now I can't see it say nothing is Obvious connector wise is fine, capacitors look fine to me. Um, I'm not going to go through and replace all these, um, there doesn't really seem a lot of point. Um, we are getting the correct voltage where we should be. So I'm thinking that it must be something going on with this board here. Um, does this house a um, must have some kind of um, control circuitry, microcontroller or something um, or this DAB receiver board holds that on it as well um, maybe that's where it gets it from and if that's faulty it uh, won't power up so I'll take that back off and let's just take the rest of the screws out on this and just have a look on the underside doubt it's got anything on the underside of this but we will just double check while we're here I don't think this is going to be worth uh, spending a lot of time on uh, has that one got to come out of there as well I have checked that part I haven't actually googled it yet to see what it is but um, it has got voltage on both pins um, I might need to google that to make sure oh no that's got a nut on the bottom so how does this come off then? Certainly seems a very big sandwich of uh, different parts. Now, am I missing something here? That does not want to budge. I have taken the um, ah, hang about. I said I have taken the knobs off the end. It's actually got the uh, nuts holding that in as well. So they're going to have to come out somehow. Certainly, um, I don't know. Would you say well built? It's um, it's pretty solidly put together. Um, doesn't help. Now I don't know if I'm going to get that in there. I might have to uh, come up with another idea. Right, let me get that one out, and we'll be back. Okay, so with that removed, we can actually get that front panel completely off. Oops. We have uh, lost some screws somewhere. Oh, what have we lost? Oh, just some washers. Right, at the moment I doubt this is going back together again. <laughs> Let's see. Right, so this is our main board at the front. So 
Yeah, exactly the same issue. Now I don't know if it, it could be a dry solder joint somewhere, but uh, everything looks reasonably okay. So that's our display module. So yeah, there is no control off this. So must be getting all the microcontroller must either be on this board or on the main board here. Let's have a look. All right, so I've been having a bit more look in detail. Um, two chips on here are the um, NE553 2Ps, so they're uh, just some op amps. So they're not controlling anything. And there is no control circuitry on that. I'll just turn my uh, torch off, don't need that now. So that must mean that all the control is done off this module. And uh, yeah, that would make sense. So I think the fact that uh, we're just getting that sort of blank display would uh, most likely indicate that something is wrong with this module. Now you possibly could pick up one of these on a uh, eBay, but I it really wouldn't be worth it for this radio. This radio is not worth a lot of money. It's one of the original ones. And like I said we've reseated that connector, so it it obviously isn't a uh, issue there with that so I don't know what you guys think but I'm pretty sure that something has died on this um, looks like that chip holds some firmware so it could be that that has got corrupted and um, that's what's causing the problems I think that could be quite highly likely is that that chip has got corrupted that is a BGA chip I don't know if it'd be worth just trying to reflow it. We could do that. Should we do that? Let's just reflow that chip. Um, I think we're going to burn that sticker doing it. Let's just reflow that chip and just see if that makes any difference. But I I suspect that it may have just got corrupted. But we'll give that a go and uh, we'll leave it there. Okay, let's get some uh, flux on this. Not burn myself on the. Uh, Hot air at the same time. Could just be this has got warm and the uh, balls are deformed. Yes, it's going to smoke a lot. Flux residue plus that uh, sticker. All right, let that cool down and uh, give it a little clean up and then we'll uh, pop it back in and just see if that's made any difference. If that hasn't, then I think we'll just call it quits on this. No point spending a load of time on something that's uh, effectively not really worth anything at all. Okay, so I've got that plugged back in again. I just cleaned up a bit of IPA there. So let's uh, see, let's plug this in. And let's just have a look, see if that made any difference at all. And uh, no, exactly the same symptom. So I'm guessing something has got corrupted with that. Um, could be bad solder joints. I very much doubt it. Being the age that it is, so I'm not quite sure how old, but this is quite an old unit. I think there is a high chance that possibly, like I say, that chip has failed itself. Um, or has got corrupted in some way. And uh, that kind of give us this kind of symptom here. Um, where it's sort of just displaying blank characters and uh, nothing else is uh, happening. So there we are. So... We did give it a go. Like I said, I'm sure if you spent a lot more time on it, maybe brought another one of these modules, you could probably, you know, maybe get it going again. But like I say, for an old DAB unit, it's uh, not worth it. Um, I don't have any use for it, should I get it going anyway? And it uh, wouldn't be of much value if you tried to sell it. Well, I hope you found that interesting. We certainly got to see what's inside one. Um, of these units. If you've got one of these units and you want to know what's inside, now you do. 
um, but unfortunately it wasn't really uh, possible to repair. So then guys, if you do like the video, please do give it a big thumbs up, that really does help. Um, if you dislike it, give it a thumbs down. Um, I don't mind, it's good to know what the uh, audience is thinking. And uh, if you haven't subscribed yet and you're new to this channel, please do subscribe. I also uh, support donations through uh, Patreon, so if you uh, would like to make a donation in Patreon to help uh, purchase more equipment for uh, reviews and repairs, etc., links are in the description below.